Hey everyone, it's Clayton here, and today I am just showing my rain chamber that I built. So uh, I made a video a while ago, uh, just showing a rain chamber that I built. It was pretty, uh, it was all right. It just I don't know, just wasn't really what I wanted. Uh, and this is also just a quick video to uh, test out my iPhone 5 camera. Uh, I just want to see what how decent the quality is. So uh, this video is going to be recorded on my iPhone 5, which I'm doing right now. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty much just for this rain chamber, I have a Rubbermaid tote, and then I drilled some holes in the top. Uh, I took some of this tubing here, uh, put it through the top, zip tied it on, and then I drilled little holes, and uh, you can see these little sprinklers up there. Uh, you can buy them at like Home Depot and Canadian Tire and crap like that. Uh, pretty much at any you know, like hardware store just look in their gardening section um, yeah that's I don't know pretty much just pretty basic all I have is about I don't know two two and a half three inches of water um, and then what I did after I have this all connected uh, I just poked little holes and shoved these uh, sprinklers into the tube and then I just siliconed around them you can kind of see actually open it up so you can see that oh shit I don't want to get water on my phone um but yeah you can pretty much see what I'm talking about um and okay so like once you have the uh that set up all you're gonna need to do is buy a uh, external canister filter and the reason I recommend this is just because it filters the water and uh, you won't have to change the whole water daily, you only have to change part of it, just take out the two and then you should be pretty much fine. You can change like a, I don't know, 20-30% if you feel like it, but I really, you don't need to with the filter. Uh, these filters are really strong, it's really big, it has a, quite a bit of media in there to filter out any crap. Chico, shut up. Um, yeah, I don't know, pretty much. That's it. And I just hung some plants through the, uh the roof just so they have a place to lay their eggs um, I also have another plant that's just sitting in the water and then uh, what I did I just this is the uh, inlet hose and I just cut a hole up here and put in the inlet hose to uh, suck in the water this water sucks it into the filter takes it in uh, filters it puts it back out this tube and then eventually it goes back out the uh, sprinklers and then back down into the bottom and it's just a big circle so you won't ever lose any water or have to do any really anything just every day or so come in and check them and uh, yeah I just put them in there so hopefully these guys will start calling soon I'm pretty sure they will because uh, I put them through a dry period so I'm pretty sure they're gonna uh, definitely start calling but I don't know I guess I'll have to just wait and see so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, be sure to post any questions that you have in the uh, comments and I'll try to answer them. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe.